Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you everything I crocheted for my market. I've got two this weekend, one on Saturday and a different one on Sunday. And I will be, as always, telling you my prices for each item. Take this information with a grain of salt. These prices work for my area, but they might not work for yours. I live in Florida. It's a higher cost of living area, so for me, these prices work. I can't guarantee they'll work for everybody, and yeah. So let's get started. First, we'll start with this little mushroom guy. Uh, this is my own pattern. You guys can watch the tutorial for how to make this guy. Uh, I'll leave it in the cards and link below and all of those fun things. Uh, but I am selling him for $9. Uh, I've never actually brought this guy to my market, so I don't know how well he'll sell, but mushrooms are pretty popular, especially with the Mario movie having just come out. So. I think it'll do well. You guys, if you make it, you let me know for sure. Uh, and then you've also seen this guy if you've been around on my channel for a little while because you guys picked this project for me as my next market make and I am selling him for 20. Dinosaurs typically do well. I have T-Rex and a Stegosaurus normally, but I think I'm sold out of the Stegosaurus. Um, but those are $15, but this guy's a little bit bigger, so. I expect him to do pretty well. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, this is not my item. I mean, it's mine as in I own it, but I did not make this. There were two little girls, sisters, at my last event selling crochet things. So I wanted to support their humble little business. And I bought this little pineapple and it's cute, isn't it? It's in with my like market stuff because I got it out of market. Then we have this skunk. It's also $20. I price things by time and size. Um, I like to have like price sections. So if time-wise something takes me like $22 worth of minutes, I will either bump it up to the $25 section or down to the $20 section based on its size because I think it's easier for customers to shop like price sections then have everything have its own individual price and this is nine dollars and this is seven and this is 650 and so on uh this is a headband i tried out a pattern i did not like it that much i do twist headbands but not this pattern uh so this is eight dollars it goes in my little clearance bin which i keep by my email sign up on my table uh, I'll also link the video for my like market display setup situation uh, in the description box below. So if you guys need ideas of how to set up your table, we'll look into that. Uh, these baby booties are also in my clearance bin. They are $10. One of the dinos that I mentioned, it's $15. This chunky boy mushroom is $20. Uh, this is a pattern from Ribbler. I've got Lolly the Mermaid. That I've crocheted in the colors of Ariel. Uh, don't try to come for me, Disney. I got no monies. Uh, I'm selling her for $35 though because these curls took years off my life. Each of these is basically 75 stitches. Uh, so yeah, 35. I don't know that she'll go for that, but that's what I'm charging. This frog. And this frog are the same pattern and two different yarns. I still have to make that video, but I'm gonna do a video comparing Parfait Chunky to Burnout Blanket. But because these are the same pattern and relatively close to the same price, they are both $15. I don't remember if I said, but this is a Katie Bean Creative No Sew Frog Pattern. Sunny the Egg. Sunny the Egg is $20. Uh, Sunny the Egg probably could have made been made faster if the like white did not like wrap back around under the egg so this took longer than it needed to uh so i have to sell it for twenty dollars but i mean it's cute look at this happy little sunny this is a snake my daughter made it is in my clearance bin for two dollars she's working on her crochet game so she could sell a little stuff too but i'm trying to help out the cause so this is on my table i've got these mushrooms for $12. I do them in blue and red and green 
and purple, and I think I have pink, but they're all $12. They are a KDB and Creative pattern too, but I modified it by adding this like lower mushroom cap around it because I like it better. I've got this little soup dumpling. It is how many dollars? Twelve dollars. Also, that is an Emmy Creations pattern by Chloe. You can buy it on Etsy. I got this whale for twenty. I do these wrist like keychains. Um, these are like a half double crochet, and I think it's like five stitches wide. Uh, and I sell all my keychains for fifteen. So I have these in four different colors. Uh, here, this one's called Mustard, fittingly. It's my favorite color. Bet you couldn't tell. Uh, this one's called Bisque. This one is Sand, I think. And this one is Black. Um, and that is Craft Smart Yarn from Michaels. That's my favorite, like, budget family yarn. Man T, bless his little heart, he came out huge, so he is $35. I've got this cow. This cow is $35. Um, I found a different cow pattern that I've still yet to make, but this one, even though it's kind of smallish, I had to like sew the individual spots on him, and this was sewn on, and these were sewn on, and this was sewn on, and this, and I think I crocheted the tail on, but because of all these sewn on parts, it took 100,000 years to make, so it's got to be $35. This set is $25 for a baby leggy frog and uh, the big leggy frog. Uh, I think that set's super cute and I'm offended that no one's bought them yet. This is $25. I think it's called Flower Sprite on Etsy. I'm blanking on names. I'm sorry. Uh, but I did mess up the skirt pad part of the pattern a little bit and I just went with it because that's... You ain't gonna catch me on frogging things unless I absolutely have to. Like this. This lower half of this pattern was from a pattern. This top half I messed up, so I just went with it. And now I got this big mushroom that I think kind of looks like pink cauliflower. Oh, and it is $30. This scrunchie, I was testing out a scrunchie pattern. Decided that the pattern's probably fine, but this yarn was like a mistake. So this is in my clearance bin for $2. I sell my other scrunchies for six each or two for 10, so $5 each if you buy two. Um, and yeah, they do well. Uh, this bee is $12. This sunflower turtle is patterned from Etsy. It is 25. This is also a pattern from Etsy. It's a 35. Um, it didn't take that long, but I don't know. Between the size and having to sew on, let's see, two, four, six, seven parts, it took long enough that I think 35 is better than 30 price wise, but we'll see. Uh, I don't remember if I showed a yellow one earlier, but this is what they look in, like in yellow. This little mallard duck is 15. This is a glow in the dark ghost. It is $12. I should be charging more than $12 because this yarn is a you know what to work with. It has zero give and took years off my life. And that's why there's only one of him. I need to find a better pattern or like a different glow in the dark yarn because I want to make these for Halloween, but I can't can't do it with this ghost pattern. No no. This is what I'm calling a chick, but everyone else thinks it's a duck, and it looks like the Psyduck Pokemon. It's also $15. It's a pattern modification of this guy. Strawberry. The strawberry is $15. I do these twist headbands. Here, let me show you. In four different sizes. This is obviously the adult size. Then this is... The toddler size, this is also toddler, this is baby. Uh, I do a child size, which is somewhere between this and the adult size. Um, but they are 18 each or 
two for 30. And I use that knitting machine to make them and then I like sew them. If you guys want, I could do a tutorial on that. I'm not super good at them making things on the machine, but I know how to make those headbands. So let me know. This is a $15 octopus. This is a $12 fish. Uh, it's a new item on my table. Last market was the first market that I've had it at. Um, I found a free fish pattern on the internet. No tutorial or anything. It was just like a written pattern. But I modified it. So even if you find this pattern, you probably won't know it's this pattern because this looks uh, quite a bit different. But I think it's cute. This peep. Um, because it's after Easter, I've thought about lowering the price on this. It's a $30 peep. But since it's after Easter, I don't know what I'm doing with it yet. But for now, it's $30. $12 leggy frog. A baby leggy frog. I have this heart rattle. The messed up version of this in Rainbow Yard. Sold at my last market. This one is $20 though because it's not messed up. The one that was messed up sold for 5 Harry Perry otter. Spoof art is allowed. So I take this and sew it. I try not to like do any trademark infringement kind of things because like Disney specifically does like to sue small businesses uh, and I'm just not trying to be sued over somebody else's kids, you know? But spoof art is like a caveat to that. So this is not Harry Potter, it's Harry Otter. This is a bin of mini octos. I sell all these mini octos for $5. Um, I switched them to $5 for my last market, and I think only sold one, whereas the market before they were $6 and I sold more. So maybe six is a better price point, but I make them in a variety of different colors. I've got different shades of pink. Uh, I've got different shades of like blue. There's this like super light blue, I think it's called Spa, and this blue, which I think is just called light blue. And this is kind of a blue, but they call it mint. Um, this is a... What's her name? All from Jade. An all from Jade pattern. Um, this is in my clearance bin. It's a whale. Uh, I was just sticking around one day and I made it. Um, and it uses yarn and material, so I'm going to try to sell it. But I don't know what it is because I was just messing about. I've got these larger Octos and I think this is a Sweet Softies pattern. I have these in pink, coral, butter, mint, whatever that blue is called. It's either called Spa or Aqua, I don't remember, and Periwinkle. Um, I've been trying to find an Octo pattern that works with like Quick that I like. That one took too long so I only have that like one set in Rainbow. This is an, a knit grit pattern for a whale. Uh, I have this whale in a couple different colors. It's sold before. It's $12. These are also $12, if I didn't say. I don't remember if I said. It's all blurring together. Oh, this little crab is $9. This is an all from Jade pattern. I have this oyster and pearl. This is an Etsy pattern. This is $9. This littler baby leggy frog is $9. This bigger frog is, I think an all from Jade pattern. It is $9. I have these mini bees and I had them in a couple different colors and I did not restock my stuff because I've been sick for like almost a week. So I just haven't crocheted hardly at all. Um, but I had purple, and blue that sold last time uh, and I still have this pink one and I make them in this light yellow and this like more traditional bee yellow but these are nine dollars these always sell well so I usually have a like a variety of bee sizes those mini bees are a pattern from Instagram more whales so one in mint and one in, I don't know if you can tell the color difference between the top and the bottom, but this is called Magnolia Way. It's from Crafter's Secret from Hobby Lobby, not Craftsmart. 
but pretty much everything else other than that glow in the dark die um, has been craft smart yarn from Michaels. I got these fidgets I'm trying to sell for $8. I sold none at my last market, but I got a few people that said they were cool, so I'm taking that as a win. And then I've got these plush octos. These are $9. Make these in a lot of different colors. These are actually the same pattern as these. The all from Jade pattern. Uh, and they actually take like 20 minutes to work up. Uh, but I sell the smaller version for $5 and I sell the bigger version for $9. Uh, because A, this yarn costs more money and B, I think perceived value matters and something that's bigger should be priced more. Uh, not to say that all small things should be priced inexpensively, but I think it's easier to explain to a customer why something bigger costs more than it is to be like, look at this really intricate mini little thing that I'm selling for like $100 because it took me freaking 10 hours to make. That's just my thoughts. That's why I stay away from like really small, tiny, cute, intricate patterns and just go for a lot of like expected trendy things like the mushrooms, the bees, mermaids, cottage core stuff, uh, frogs, because people like that stuff and I know that it'll sell. It might not sell every time at every single market, but majority of the time, stuff like this sells. <laughs> this guy is also a $30 item. Um, it was for Easter too and it didn't sell. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it at 30. This B chain, it's 15. This is a messed up jellyfish, 15. Ah! Another messed up jellyfish. Ooh, I gotta get it off the mic. Sorry if that audio got bad. Another messed up-ish jellyfish. This one's less messed up. Uh, for 15. This is a messed up whale for 15. The customer is not gonna know I messed it up, so it just is what it is. I know, though. This is the same octo pattern with a smaller hook size to make it smaller and then I turned it into a keychain. Also 15. I think I could probably stop saying that because all my keychains are 15. This is from the Angie coffee tutorial on the YouTube. Um, I don't remember the girl's name. It's in there but I'm not gonna pull it out in time. But yeah just type in angry coffee and you'll find her. I think happier things sell better though. Some mine have smiley faces. But these coffee keychains are also $15. These mini octas, these are under an hour. Also all from Jade. But I think they take pretty much double the time that the other little ones make and they're not much bigger. So I only have one set of these in rainbow colors. And I sell them for seven, uh, just because I think these smaller ones are better use of my time because they're like twice as fast. Uh, and like I said, they're almost the same size. So I'm not gonna like do more of those because I can't sell them for that much more and they take twice as long. All my little mini fruits are $9. So I got these mini bloobs, this mini pineapple, a white chocolate covered strawberry. This is basically my own pattern. Um, it was like inspired by somebody else's like strawberry pattern. But this was like the original pattern. So you can see mine other than like style is like a slightly different sized. And I think I completely changed her tops. So you know what? The top's completely different than the original pattern too. I think patterns as suggestions for what I should be doing, but I will change it. I made a chocolate covered version. This was a freehand orange. And then I've got another regular strawberry, but all that stuff, $9. I think that's everything. Uh, before my last market, when I counted everything, I had like over $2,000 worth of inventory. Um, 
I've obviously sold things since then and not all my stuff is like crochet stuff. So some of that plays a role. I also have candles. They're like candles with a crystal in it and scented and like you burn the candle and you can get the crystal out. Um, what else? Oh, wooden rattles that I make, silicone teethers that I don't make, and soap. I have two different types of soaps. One's fancier than the other, uh, so they have two different price points. You've probably seen it in my video where I'm showing you how to use the Square app because you can see all my inventory in that. So if you want to go check out that video, I'll also link below. And I think that's everything. Um, stick around on my channel because at some point going up after the market, markets, because there's two, I'll let you guys know how I did. And we can go over like the stats from everything and also not pictured here uh, I'm gonna be bringing eggs from our chickens to one of the markets so I'll let you know if I sell eggs you guys probably don't care but I do so I'll let you know and thanks for watching